In this lecture, we're going to see how to run Terraform from Jenkins Declarative Pipeline. Okay, let's get started. I already have Jenkins machine with me and it's installed on EC2 instance. I do have a sample ISE project written in Terraform. And for this, we want to set up Jenkins Declarative Pipeline. Let's go and install a Terraform Jenkins plugin. It's successfully installed and let's go back to home page. Manage Jenkins. Global tool configurations. Let's check for Terraform. Add Terraform name. So we do have options to install automatically, so which will install our uh, Terraform automatically on our uh, Jenkins machine. But I want to uncheck that. Uh, provide the installation directory, but uh, our Terraform is not yet installed on Jenkins box. Let's go to terraform.io download CLI so for Linux we want to install it on Linux 64-bit copy link address let's use wget download the chip let's unchip that So we got this uh, binary which is an executable. Next we want to add this binary to the path. I want to move our uh, Terraform binary to user bin. Right, uh, we got this Terraform into a path. And uh, yes, I'm able to use that command and check the version. Let's use this. So it just requires installation directory. Don't include Terraform command. In this path save it our next step is to create Jenkins job pipeline let's go to pipeline Uh, I want to add our uh, Terraform tools information into our pipeline script. Open pipeline syntax generator. So declarative directive generator. Tools. Terraform. Generated. See, in our case, Terraform is in the path. So, I don't think this is required, but still, sometimes you might have your Terraform command uh, kept somewhere on your local Jenkins machine, which is not in the path. In such cases, this will be helpful. Again, if Terraform script is there in the path, 
this is redundant. If Terraform script is not in the path, right, then this helps. Okay, so this brings our Terraform uh, binary into the path so that we can execute that command in this job. So go back to snippet generator. So I want to execute Terraform init. So but before I execute this, I need to have the source code. So let's grab this link. Repository URL, the branch, the credentials. So if you want to add credentials of your GitHub, I choose username and password, provide those details, username, password, ID, description and add. I already have that with me. I choose it. Okay. So we have a couple of uh, stages. Stage 1 is to git checkout. Stage 2 is Terraform init. And uh, likewise, stage 3, I want to run Terraform apply so I use auto approve because uh, without this switch it prompts us for uh, yes no uh, by default I want to say yes go and apply without prompting me save it let's execute It got failed. There is duplicate stage name. Fine. Let's fix that. Save it and build it. We might get some other problem. right uh, it's able to check out the code and it's also kind of doing in it which is downloading our provider details provider plugins then when it comes to apply it I mean it's unable to locate credentials uh, this could be done in couple of ways I can install Jenkins credential plugin I can store access keys and secret keys and wrap it uh, and I mean wrap it around this command so it works otherwise because Jenkins is installed inside EC2 instance I can create IM role and attach that role to EC2 instance let's go to IM go to roles create role I want this role to be used by EC2. I want to select administrator access tags. I want to leave that. Let me name it Terraform Jenkins role. Create the role. All right, come back to EC2 dashboard. 
select EC2 instance, that's our Jenkins. Instance settings, attach the role. Terraform Jenkins role and apply. So come back to our Jenkins job, build it. So it executed successfully, it added one resource. The code I have here is to create VPC. Let's go over to our AWS Management Console. Click VPC, your VPCs. We should find VPC with name Demo VPC. Let me refresh it. Taking time for displaying it. Yeah, we have a demo VPC. Now let's slightly do changes, code changes. Commit changes and go back to Jenkins job. Hit build now. It ran successfully. So go to VPC dashboard, do a refresh and find the changes are reflecting. So guys, that's how we integrate Jenkins and Terraform. Thanks for watching.